understand groups and segments, let's first go to Forms. Here I created a pop-up that is called Weekly Newsletters and I activated it. Let's click Weekly Newsletter and this is an overview of this form and subscribe to groups and I added one group which is called Weekly Newsletters. So every time someone subscribes to this pop-up that's called a Weekly Newsletter, they will subscribe to the group that is also called Weekly Newsletter. And that's fine. Let's go to Subscribers now, Groups, and here we have all the different types of groups, and one of them is called Weekly Newsletter. Here it is. Here's the Monthly Newsletter, and here is a Blacklist group. Now let's go to Campaigns for a second. This is the Drafts folder, and I created different kind of campaigns here. Let's look at the retargeting campaign here. I created a subject line, the content recipients, and I even went up to schedule. But I'm going to go to recipients again. And here I have all subscribers selected. I can deselect this and click uh, segment, one of these segments here, or I can click one of these groups here. For example, I can send it to my weekly newsletter group. Then I can click next, review and confirm. Of course, I have zero subscribers here, so I can't actually click it yet. But let's say this is let's say this is where I want to send it to my weekly uh, newsletter subscribers, and let's say I want to exclude some groups. I would need to click exclude here and here. Uh, I have a blacklist group somewhere. Here it is. I want to exclude all the people from receiving that newsletter, right? And this is what I would need to do every single time I'm creating that newsletter. I would need to exclude all these people. I need to I would need to check box this weekly newsletter thing. And um, the only way I could um, kind of get around this would be that I would need to copy the last newsletter, the last weekly newsletter I sent, I would need to copy it, kind of duplicate it, and then I would have all these things uh, excluded and checked, etc. But there is an easier way of doing it by using segments. Let's go to subscribers again. Let's go to groups for a second. So again, groups are used for when people join your form, so you know where they're coming from. You can give them the name of the newsletter, for example, weekly newsletter, or for example, weekly newsletter main page. Then you know these are subscribers who want to receive your uh, your daily news, your weekly newsletter, and that come from the main from your main site, right? You can also use groups in automations. So when someone joins a group, they will get a specific automations. In automations, you can also move people from one group to another or delete them from a group if they do something you don't want them to do. For example, if they don't open, let's say, 10 emails in a row, you don't want them to be subscribed anymore, and then you can unsubscribe them. So that's these are groups. Now let's go to segments. Now segments are really powerful. You have all these segments here, and let's create a segment using this button here. And let's call it the weekly newsletter segment. There we go. And now we want the groups belongs to weekly newsletter, right? And if we have many, many different groups who want that weekly newsletter, for example, we had a weekly newsletter um, on your main, like I said, main, you can, you can call it uh, weekly newsletter main, and then you know, special. You can have a special article that you want people also to subscribe to your weekly newsletter. Then you can have, for example, weekly newsletter special, right? And then you'll know that it's from the special article. And then you can add all these groups here. Belongs to groups again. And then you can have weekly newsletter main, weekly newsletter special, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if you don't want them to belong to a specific group, for example, does not belong to blacklist, right? then the people on the blacklist will not get this weekly newsletter. Then what you could do is add another condition. For example, if you don't want the people signed up to the monthly newsletter to not get this, to, to get this, then you also add this here. So in this way, you're sure that the people who only signed up for the monthly newsletter will not get the weekly newsletter. Then what you do is save changes. And there we go, right? Now, the next time you're sending a newsletter, you don't have to add different groups or exclude different groups. You just send it to the segment instead of to the groups and use the weekly newsletter segment. Of course, you can always create a segment from the All Subscribers tab here. This is very powerful. You can not only uh, exclude groups, add groups. So let's say group belongs to uh, weekly newsletter, but you can also add a location is, for example, the European Union, add another one, 
time zone, you can change the time zone, or you can uh, make sure they opened a specific newsletter or didn't open the specific newsletter. Sign up source is a web form. And let's say we want to send it to the subscribers who have open rates that are more than greater than 10 percent okay and then let's click save segment and we can have our new weekly european union newsletter for active subs through form okay this is a mouthful but we could do it this way let's click create and there's that segment so this is very, very powerful, like I said, and it's dynamic. So with groups, you're the only one who can put people into groups or take them away from groups, unless they unsubscribe, of course. And of course, unless you create an automation that will take people in and out of groups depending on their behavior. But this is dynamic. So that means that in this case, if someone is not in the European Union anymore or doesn't belong to this group, or doesn't open your emails and has 0% instead of 10%, at least 10% of open rates, well, what will happen is they will not get this newsletter. But then again, if that person you know, comes back to the European Union and is uh, joins your weekly newsletter again, and the open rates are greater than 10%, well, then they will get this newsletter again. They will automatically go in and out of this newsletter depending on what they do here. And in this case, they need to meet all of these rules because it's the and, 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 right? But you can also add another condition, right? You can choose a filter. Let's say group belongs to team, for example, right? If you want your team to always get the newsletters you're sending out, uh, even though they're not in the European Union or they don't open all of your emails, well, then they will get these emails if you have them here because we have the or rule. And that's it. Save the changes. We have 22 subscribers like this, and we're ready to go. So I hope this makes the difference between segments and groups a little more clear. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe. Use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.